Just wanted to do a quick overview today of our Protero. Um, we're not completely done for the year using it, but we've done quite a bit. Um, most of our leaves for the year, we still got a few out there once it dries up a little bit. Hopefully we'll be able to get before spring. If not, I guess we'll have to get them in the spring, but um, it's a little nasty right now because I did something stupid the other day and tried to do it when it was just too wet. I mean, I got the job done, but it took way longer than it should have. Should have just waited for the next day. But um, I've got it mounted to a 4000 series here. And um, mounting it up was a little bit of a challenge, I guess. But I took, took a pretty much a whole day for us to get this put on here um, but now if we do want to take it off we could just pull these pins pretty easily and it will um, just take that off and we could leave the brackets on now we're probably going to take them off once we start cutting grass and are done with it in the spring um, but I think it'll be a lot quicker to get on it than now that we've done it once uh, some things we did have to do is we had to drill a hole in here because it was too, uh, this bracket was too long to really mount to our ROPs. So we did have to drill a hole, put that in, shorten it up a little bit. Um, but that was a pretty easy fix. And I also had to take the top half of my ROPs off, which doesn't matter to me. Um, we normally run them down anyways and but just the way and the angle of it, it was contacting with our our collection container. So we took that off. Um, but overall, pretty happy with it. Uh, the brackets that mount to the machine aren't quite square. It's going to be hard to see, but it kind of... I mean, they're built square, but the way our machine is and the way the direction said to mount it it kind of warped this thing a little bit there um but we haven't had any problems like it's solid it's on there hadn't caused any issues i was a little worried about that at first but it works so can't complain um the blower down here is pretty good we did smash that early on kind of got it straightened back out put it back on there because uh, we ran it with it off for a while it covers your pulleys um other than that you know there's not a whole lot put the pulley on top of your belt pulley there and runs it the instructions weren't the easiest to follow and i definitely feel like this wasn't designed necessarily for this mo machine because um, there's a few things where we had to kind of deviate from the instructions to get it to work but it wasn't, I guess, too hard to figure out front weights. Uh, we did have to cut the corners off this, which wasn't that big of an issue because it wouldn't actually fit in there. Um, but once we cut that just a hair, we were able to get it fitted and mounted up. And dump handle is right here. Pull that, goes down. Um, another thing, I did have to mount this off center as far as i could push it uh this direction actually towards where i'm standing just to get the handle to clear down here and still barely rubs but if you mount it centered it uh it will not go down and i did mount the handle all the way over as far as i could the first time I mounted I had it on the inside and it really wouldn't clear then so I moved everything this direction as far as I could I haven't had any problems with the weight being this way because it's it's really not that much off center because the brackets won't let you go over too far um, inside of here what you're looking at get that window so you can see when you're getting full um, mesh up top keep your airflow uh, i've only washed this thing out one time and that was after the last time i used it because i was getting a lot of it was very wet and a lot of the dust was turning into mud and kind of clogging this mesh up so i 
washed it out, but other than that, it does a pretty good job. And then there's where your hose comes in. I like the hose being semi uh, clear because that does allow you to kind of monitor your flow. You can see stuff flowing through here as long as you don't get too much mud built or dirt caked up in there. Um, but you can kind of see it flowing just to make sure you're not having any problems and clogging it. But it's pretty easy to tell when that happens because you'll start seeing leaves kick out instead of flowing up in there. But yeah, it's pretty durable because we've, I don't know how many hours we've used it. Our mower's got 328 right now. I think when we put this thing on, we were a little, we were somewhere around the 290. Um, so that, that gives you an idea. We probably put 35 to 40 hours on this bagger. Um, so I'm pretty happy with it. Not a ton of hours, I guess, but, um, yeah, it's been pretty good for us. And it looked a lot cleaner than this until the last time I used it, but now my mower and everything's all nasty. So I gotta get that cleaned up once we're done for the year with the, with the leaves. So anyways, I, I like it. Um, can't complain. I'd be interested to see how some other ones operate. But anyways, that's all I, all I got for you. Um, so that's the Protero bagger.